What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, good morning and uh, welcome to this update on my analysis on Quack or a rich quack, whatever you want to call it. Covered this yesterday, yesterday I wasn't uh, nearly bullish enough. Um, I, I did tell you, I mean, um, we covered it yesterday, a lot of people requested another update. If you don't know me, basically what I do in these videos is I cover a little bit of the project, at least yesterday I did of rich quack. We'll talk a little bit about it in this video too. And I take a look at the price, what's uh, what, what's possible and what's likely to happen. Yesterday in the analysis, what I said is that we would probably get up to 2.6, that afterwards we'd have a good chance of getting up to $3. Uh, well, as, as you can see, it wasn't nearly bullish enough, all right? I, I did say that we could even get higher, but it doesn't matter. I, I didn't name 3.5, which was our last resistance level. Um, so right now we're, we're actually at, at, at a pretty interesting situation. But first of all, I, I do want to say once more that uh, Rich Quack is, I think it's its kind of a meme token, right? They have a product, they have a launchpad, all right? Uh, so it's not nothing, and the launchpad is also being used, I think. Um, and, and, and it's not, not a scam, all right? The code has been audited. There's no centralization issues or something. It just is what it is, all right? It's a community-based token. Uh, most people call that a meme token. There's nothing wrong with that in, in the case of Rich Quack, I think. I'm, I'm actually, I usually I don't really like meme coins. Rich Quack, I actually don't have anything against. Um, very good in marketing too, because I, I knew them for, for like a year already. It's, um, yeah. But um, let's get right into the price, all right? Because that's that's why you're here. So let's get right into it. Um, yeah, the thing right now is, is that um, the, the interesting thing is that a lot of whales took profits pro probably here. Because this was like a 40% drop, dropped down from 3.5 all the way down to uh, 2.15. Um, it's it's hard to recover from that. I'm going to be honest. I think it's possible, but it's hard to recover from that. Uh, the first real obstacle to us is 2.6, and you can see that we already found resistance there. So so we'll probably um, you can see that we're pretty bullish. So I think we'll we'll actually get above 2.6. But then you get that $3 again. And you can already see that we reacted to $3 quite a bit. Uh, so if we can break through $3 again is, is really the question if, if, if we can get higher or not. Um, if we cannot break through $3 within the next three days, uh, then we're probably going to drop down. We're probably going to drop down to 2 and, and 1.8 again. And then from there try to set up another rally. However, the moment we break through, I mean, we first have to break through 2.6. If then we break through three dollars then i think we're actually going all the way up to four dollars and and 4.2 kind of that level um which would be amazing uh, for for all of you holders definitely don't forget to take profits um, but yeah th these are kind of the two scenarios i'm looking at right now both are really based upon the assumption that we break above 2.6 so if we don't manage to break above 2.6 forget about this analysis i was wrong sorry then but um it, we have a lot of bullish momentum with Rich Quack right now. There's a great community behind it. Um, so it, 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 it seems like 2.6 is breakable, right? I think most of you agree with me, but um, yeah, let, let, let's see that first. And then afterwards, it's, it's about breaking $3 um, and, and doing that quick, all right? Because you need momentum to actually get new, uh, not all-time highs, but local highs. All right, so um, in that whole analysis, don't forget that uh, later today we'll have inflation rate numbers from the United States. That makes the market move a lot. So if that's way higher or way lower than expected, that's going to move the price of Quack as well. Keep an eye out for that, all right? Don't, don't, don't get yourself, uh, don't lose money because of that. Uh, all right, but for now, that's an update on the Rich Quack. If you do have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in the next videos. Bye.